Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm Emil Ennis Jr., back here with Clever News. And in an all new interview, Demi Lovato is reflecting on her roller coaster of a year in the wake of her split from Max Eric. As we're nearing the end of 2020, we've been able to breathe a light sigh of relief now that the election is over. But what seemed to cause one of the biggest headlines of the year was Demi Lovato's short lived relationship, engagement, and split with Max Eric earlier this year. As many fans are well aware by now, Demi and Max started dating back around March when they confirmed their relationship just two months later by slowly dancing together in Ariana Grande and Justin Bieber's Stuck With You music video. We won't get into many more details, but let's just say the split resulted in staged paparazzi photos of Max crying on a beach, a few tell-all breakup songs, and an unforgettable moment in pop culture history. Max has since shared his thoughts on the split, accusing Demi of using him and even dubbing the entire production as a calculated PR stunt. Demi has remained tight lipped surrounding the breakup and has clearly been living her best life by spending more time with family and friends and putting putting out politically charged hits with important messages. But while speaking on Today with Hoda and Jenna earlier this week, when Demi was asked about what this year has been like for her, she reflected on the many roadblocks that she's encountered as well as everything she's learned throughout 2020. This year. <laughs> I don't know how anybody can answer that question, honestly, because it's been such a roller coaster. I mean, honestly, for me, my the beginning of the year started out, I was on this trajectory to have a, you know, pretty eventful career. And I was planning my comeback, releasing the album. Despite all that went down though, it seems Demi was able to make the best out of an unfortunate situation and is grateful for having to postpone her seventh studio album due to the pandemic, considering everything she's been through this year has been so much of an experience for her. Plus, Demi was also able to continue making music as she even dropped two new songs, including a powerful breakup anthem called Still Have Me, as well as Command in chief where she takes aim at President Trump and his political policies. Speaking of the inspiration behind her recent songs though, Demi didn't specifically mention Max. She did say, quote, when I write my songs, when I go to the studio and record them, it's a very cathartic and therapeutic experience for me. Anytime I go through something, especially when I don't say things publicly or comment on certain situations, I just let my music comment on it. Most importantly, Demi has only taken away lessons from her experiences this year, adding, I think the most important thing that I've learned is how much I am okay with myself and loving myself. It wasn't until this year that I really started exploring the things that bring joy to my life in little ways. And by the looks of it, she's nowhere near finished with 2020 as she's set to host the 2020 People's Choice Awards this Sunday and is currently teasing a collaboration on a song that's already been released. Many fans have been eagerly screenshotting hints Demi keeps dropping about recording a new collab, including this DM of her saying, it's a song that's out. I'm featuring on a remix. She also teased this photo in the studio with the caption, last time I recorded in the studio, it was with Patrick Stump and Pete Wentz. Today, another f***ing dope collab coming. Yeah, I think we can all agree that if anyone, Demi Lovato is clearly still capable of making a comeback this year, and we can't wait to see what she's whipping up to close out this wild chapter. But to find out what Kazzy David had to say about Pete Davidson and Ariana Grande's former relationship, click right over here for another clever video, and then let us know your thoughts on Demi's new interview down in the comment section below. I'm your host, Emil Ennis Jr. You can find me on Instagram, at Emil Ennis Jr., and I'll see you soon right back here on Clever News. Bye, guys. Okay.